folks, John here from My Solar Home, and today we're diving deep into a battery technology that could completely change the way we power our cars, our homes, and maybe even our cities. Solid state batteries. Now, if you've heard claims around EVs going 1,000 miles in a single charge, batteries that last decades, zero risk of fires, you're not hearing science fiction. That's the real promise of solid state technology. But there's also a lot of hype. Today, we'll look beyond the headlines. Here's what we'll cover. How do solid state batteries actually work? Why they are such a big deal compared to lithium ion? Who's leading the race? What have they achieved so far? What are the challenges that could slow things down going forward? And what solid state means for solar and home energy storage? Right now, lithium ion batteries pretty much dominate the world. They're in your phone, laptop, your electric car, your Tesla or Franklin battery. They've taken us a long way, but they come with their drawbacks. There is still a fire risk from flammable liquid electrolytes. They have a limited lifespan due to degradation. And also, as they charge and recharge, capacity reduces. Energy density limits cap EV range. And increasing battery size, all that is something which solid state is now promising to deliver safer, making it longer lasting, more compact, and generally changing the energy storage landscape. But are solid state batteries ready for prime time? Should you really wait buying an EV with a solid state battery? Stick around, we'll get to the facts, the timelines, and the truths. Let's start with how solid state batteries work. Every battery has three key parts. There is the anode, that's the negative side where current flows out during discharge. The cathode, which is the positive charge where the current flows back in. The electrolyte, that's the medium that moves charged ions between the anode and the cathode. Now in lithium ion batteries, the electrolyte is a liquid. Usually it's an organic solvent that's flammable. That's why you see videos of batteries catching fire when punctured or overheated. Now in solid state batteries, the liquid electrolyte is replaced with a solid one. This could be a ceramic material. It could be a glass based compound or even a solid polymer. This change does three huge things. It eliminates flammable liquids, dramatically reducing fire risk, it also allows lithium metal anodes instead of graphite, massively boosting energy density. Now, what's energy density got to do with all this? It enables thinner designs, more energy in less space. For example, a solid state EV battery could store the same amount of energy as a lithium ion pack while being 30 to 40% smaller and lighter. So here's why this technology is game changing. If manufacturers can perfect solid state technology, here's what we can expect. Much higher density. Today's EVs average between 250 to 300 watt hours per kg of energy density. Solid state batteries are targeting 400 to 500 watt hours per kg. This could mean that 800 to 1000 mile per charge battery without increasing battery size. Two, faster charging. Many solid state prototypes have hit 80% charge in under 15 minutes today. This makes EV charging almost as quick as a gas station fill up. Three, longer lifespans. Lithium ion typically lasts 1000 to 3000 cycles before any noticeable degradation occurs. Solid state could last 5000 to 10,000 plus cycles, decades for home storage, getting into a huge flame out. Number five, they have very good performance during high and low temperatures from minus 30 degrees Celsius to minus to 60 degrees Celsius. That's you know great for both Arizona summers and freezing Minnesota winters. They're much smaller and lighter packs. So you get more range without increasing the vehicle's weight. In homes, you will get smaller home batteries for the same storage capacity. So let's see who's leading the race. There's QuantumScape, 
they're based in California and they're backed by big names, Bill Gates and Volkswagen. They are a lithium metal solid state with a ceramic electrolyte. They're already showing 80% charging in 15 minutes and their energy density is at 400 watts per kg today. Volkswagen aims to integrate these into EVs later this decade. Toyota, other hand, is the silent giant. They have registered over 1,300 patents related to solid-state batteries. And their current plan is to debut their solid-state power EV by 2027 with a 745-mile range. They are testing out their scalability and the costing. Solid Power is a Colorado-based company supported by Ford and BMW. They are already supplying prototype solid-state cells to automakers for testing. They use a sulfide-based solid electrolyte for very high conductivity. The other players are Samsung and LG. And they're initially targeting consumer electronics. They're expecting a trickle-up approach that let's get solid state into smartphones and then we'll grow up into EVs. The biggest one is CATL out of China, the world's biggest EV battery maker. They're currently exploring hybrid designs first. And then they plan to go full hog into solar, into solid state. Prologium in Taiwan is a startup already shipped state-of-the-art EV battery samples to automakers. SES, this is a hybrid metal solid state ionic material and polymer-based solid state battery that they have made, and they have already got military contracts. So let's look at what are the roadblocks ahead for the technology. The big one really is manufacturing challenges. Solid electrolytes can be brittle and producing defect-free large format cells at scale, that's kind of the challenge so far. Cost, currently it's three to five times the cost per kWh compared to lithium ion. But prices will definitely drop with mass production. You know, lithium ion started out at $1,200 per kilowatt hours in 2010. And today we are at about 140 bucks or so per kilowatt hour. So that I'm not so worried about. Cycle durability. Now, some designs, they lose their conductivity after repeated cycles due to something known as dendrite formation, basically stress-related, and it reduces capacity. Supply of materials like lithium metal is another challenge. We have got to process them more. Graphene requires a new supply chain. What about home storage? Today, most of the attention is on EVs. But the home battery market could be just as big. In solar, advantage solar would be smaller footprint, more kWh and less space. Critical for small home. It could also have much longer spans, 30 plus years before replacement. You know, you'll be matching your panels and your microinverters 30 years, no fire hazard. And of course, it'll be great for residential neighborhoods and insurance companies will be so much happier. They're definitely more efficient they lose very little during charging and discharging cycles, and they perform really well in bad weather. Whether you're in a New Jersey winter or a Texas summer, imagine a Tesla-sized Powerwall unit that fits three times the energy as the Powerwall 3. Never needs replacement in your lifetime and has zero fire risk. So that's the goal for residential solid state. So when will you actually see them? They're close. Likely timelines are next year, 2026 to 28. The first solid state EVs will be out from Toyota, Volkswagen, BMW. The race is on. 2028 to 30 is when home storage pilots will start. And from 2030 onwards, there'll be broad adoption, both solar and grid storage. So until then, lithium ion batteries, they're affordable and reliable. And with the incentives, the paybacks are really strong, so stick with those. If you're looking to go solar and storage right now, go the lithium-ion route, and I can help. I have relationships with the best solar installers across the country. Contact me in my details given below, or visit my website at mysolarhome.us. I'm John from My Solar Home. Thanks for watching, and if you learned something new today, do hit that like and subscribe button, ring the bell also. Thank you.